Good evening YouTubers, Rob here. Um, I've been working on a bit of a project, a winter project, in between my wine brewing, my beer brewing and the various other things I get up to. Um, I was looking for a bottle opener, basically a wall mounted bottle opener for this wall here. Just so I could grab my beers and crack them open. There's some really cool designs, some old school looking ones on the Tinter web for a couple of quid. Um, and uh, yeah, that was basically how my search started out. And then I ended up stumbling across people who were making kind of um, wooden ones, you know, like all built in with a catch tray and all that. And they'd managed to kind of print onto wood. And I thought, that's interesting. So how do you print on wood? Turns out it's very simple. And I'll explain. Just show you exactly what you can do, because... I was actually really impressed with some of this stuff. You might not be. Um, I was. So uh, here we go. This is one. It started off with this effort. This is my first effort. Okay, don't laugh. Timothy Taylor's landlord. All right, Keith Lee. It's a local brewery, Timothy Taylor's, and landlord is their kind of beer. It's, it's in the shops actually. I think you can buy it in Tesco's these days as well. It's fantastic from a pub round here where they've got the little spike with tap on. I love Timothy Taylor's landlord. Um, that's one of their older designs which I found off the Tinter web. And if you don't seal it, it smudges, which is why it was kind of a first proof of, you know, concept. It came out quite well, really. Um, the neighbour saw it and he said, Oh, Rob, that's interesting. I'd love a bottle opener. Um, I like Wainwrights, if I Thwaites. I said, yeah, all right, I'll look it up, see if I can find an image. I did. And this is the result, which I'm quite happy with. Again, this is just a practice run. It's just on a bit of spare shelving board. You can see I put some shelves up there. I had a bit of spare wood. So I thought I'd use this to test it on. I'll tell you how to do all this in a sec. Excuse this. This box I decided to make. It's abysmal. It really is a joke. I don't know how to do proper joints or anything. I'd like to be able to do those little dove joints and things. But last time I did woodwork when I was 14. So uh, it's pretty abysmal. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm certainly not going to give him this one. This is just to, to test the, the concept. And with this one, I sealed it using uh, clear lacquer, you know, like car lacquer you get, clear coat, you get it from Alfords or anywhere. Cheapest I've seen it's by High Coat, it's only about three quid or something, you can get it from some of the cheaper shops. Um, so that's that one. I myself like Innocent Gun, my wife got me into it, so kind of aged in whiskey barrels, it's well tasty. The uh, Innocent Gun original, based in Edinburgh, uh, and this is my version of that so um, there you can see it's not perfect it's really difficult to actually do this uh, and get it to come out like looking nice so I've done a little bit of filling work with a little bit of a biro um, it's not perfect but from a distance it generally looks very rustic um, so this was someone had up the road had gone and dumped a wooden um, wardrobe oak nice quality actually um, just chucked it in the park and I thought what a place what prats but I'll uh, take the opportunity to steal some free wood, especially if it's oak. You can see this is just an actually a, a drawer, a uh, wooden drawer. Still got like the wood, little knot, knots in it and stuff. So I like this because it's oak beer, and that's oak. Solid, reliable. So I'm going to drill my little um, bottle top remover there, and I'm even going to put myself a little uh, catch tray. Now you imagine a door handle for, um, they're called cup handles. You get them on drawers, um, like you put your hand underneath, they're like a little half cup. Um, so I'm going to get one, I'm going to invert it, screw it on, and that's going to be my little catcher. So it's going to look cool, it's going to be like antique looking bronze, antique looking bronze uh, on this piece of old re upcycled oak. So that's that. Um, very simple to do, so simple, it's laughable. Get yourself some wood, get yourself some. 80 or 100 grit sandpaper and do it by hand, follow the grain, use one of these if you're like me and you can cheat, these things are brilliant, they can cut the wood, it's a multi-tool, they can also sand it and you get various attachments, so if you're, um, I bought this to do some woodwork in the kitchen with and it's a fantastic tool, comes in useful all the time for various projects, so yeah, get one of those, that kind of allows it to take off the top surface and allows the ink to then set in. You then take greaseproof paper, box standard greaseproof paper you use in the kitchen. Um, Americans, you call it freeze, freezer paper. Um, it's kind of waxy. Um, again, cut it to A4 size, get an A4 piece of paper, print a paper, cut around it, slide it in, 
printer doesn't sometimes like it, so you have to kind of keep going until it accepts it, and then it just goes, spits it out, um, at which point you just go over, lay it on top, over the top with a book or a mobile phone inside a cover, something soft, you can just give it once over, peel it off, and, uh, and there you have it. Um, I would say you've got to invert the image, so you've got to flip it horizontally. I use something called Fireworks for that. Um, I think, I would say Paint might do it, maybe it won't, but any basic kind of photo manipulation software will do that. Um, so yeah, take your image, get your image off the internet, whatever you fancy. I've tried an old Tom one, I've done obviously the ones you've seen here. Um, and you just flip the image, print it onto greaseproof paper, go over it. And then you need to seal it using your acrylic lacquer. This is top coat, clear coat. I've already mentioned this, so I'll go around in circles. Um, for a car, this, this is an acrylic spray really. You'd use that to seal your car's top coat. Uh, leave it to dry. Mount your bottle opener. Mount your catch tray. Mount it on the wall. So, you know, if you're totally bored, if you mad like me, you think you want to give it a go, give it a go, by all means comment, you know, um, if you've made one yourself, and it's a project for you guys, alright, take care.